Here we are, episode 12, Something Wicked, the Orc of Ominous, the Wicked Nemesis. Big legs, we're on the board. And special guest, Claudia. I that, uh... I know she's not rushing either, so this is going to be the first thing people like On our way to PCW at the Masquerade tonight, uh, Prophets of Doom, Arbiter of Hate, Danny Only, AP3, Andrew Pendleton III, and myself. Well, tonight I'll be as Enoch Tessarian due to NWA obligations. We'll be taking on the Washington Bullets. And who cares what their names are because we're going to destroy them for their tag team titles. So there. Chip Day t- taking on Wardell Walker. Looking forward to that. It's going to be a, a very... you got a technical bat wrestler in Wardell and then of course you have Chip Day be do or die. That pretty much explains everything. So thank you once again Stephen Platinum for letting us come out tonight and uh, take over his company once again. This is going to be one of those shows. We're actually going to go out afterwards, a little after party in the ATL in Hot Atlanta, as some people want to call it. Chip Day hates it when we call that, but we'll go ahead and say it. Uh, for those of you that are missing this show, shame on you. As Bill Clashy would say, shame on you. Around the board, they got to get my around the board reference in there. But of course, there will be videos. Uh, hopefully, you know, Dr. Melee said something about the about the noise, hopefully this will take care of the noise. No music, so the Pandora's turned all the way down. If not, I mean, I don't know what the hell it is. Sometimes we just get the (laughs) sound. Hopefully it's not doing it right now. If it is, I apologize. But uh, hopefully I spoke loud enough that you will actually be able to hear me, because I know some of the videos, or in the video last time you could hear, you could not hear me on some parts, some parts you could, so. Claudia, this is only what, your third show? Been to third show she's been to, and first time at the masquerade, so she has <laughs> an experience to get from not the Jeremiah experience, not Jeremiah Flint, Jeremiah Plunkett, but an experience, and not the Jimi Hendrix experience. So. Seem, seems like next week there's something going to happen, Brian. What is that? What, what, what's next week? We leave for Miami. Where is that again? And how do you feel about this trip? Awesome. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> we got the double thumbs up soldier from Claudia, so you can't really beat that. So it's a go team venture. <laughs> so tonight, since it's probably the doom, no, no, no Sinestro corpse ring, no Red Lantern ring, bring back the old MOD since we get the POD. Who knew it just happens? No works to death, prophets of doom. There you go. January 8th also rolling up. Got to get those tuxedos, guys. I was told by Bishop last night we could go get them at uh, men's, men's Warehouse. I was like, you know, I'm renting my tuxedo. I'm, 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 you're not going to see a tuxedo in the Orca of uh closet, I promise you that. There will not be a tuxedo anywhere. My collared shirt's about as good as I get, and I used to not even wear those. Brian, I'll tell you, there's a certain point in time. From, oh, Brian, for the PCSS computers, by the way. Uh, there was a certain point in time that all I had was t-shirts. Brian as well. I'm giving away a bunch of t-shirts for Christmas to the homeless and uh, let Brian pick through a few of them. What was I do? <laughs> You've known me for 12 years. How long How long have you ever seen me with a color shirt? So very nice shirt. So there'll be certain parts outside of Bohemian Grove where you have to have some very nice dressed uh, homeless people. But hey, sometimes, sometimes you know, you got to have a greater poison to take care of a smaller poison. So there you go. And so it goes. Once again, something, hey, something I want to say really, really, really quick. Congratulations on the 9 11 mill being passed finally. I did. Yes, Woo! for the workers. And don't ask, don't tell being revealed. So two very, very good things. It's not for Democrats, it's not for Republicans, it's not for independents, that's for everybody. So, that's for humanity, exactly. Equal rights, one step closer, guys. And also UConn, UConn basketball team, 89 in a row. UCLA, and I will compare them. I know a lot of people have been talking about that. But you know, broke your men's record. Exactly. So there you go. Now I do. I heard on outside the lines that uh, there was a college, a women's college team, that won 153 in a row. Oh wow. Yes. So I'm not sure in the college. I know uh, they keep stressing now after that was told on outside the lines that it's a division. So, probably a Division 1A or 2A. So, there you go. The UConn women, congratulations on that. Second of all, second of all, Beyond Ringside, thank you once again. We will be on this Sunday. I know we will not have a Saturday morning show. This Sunday.
said that we will talk about the show tonight. Of course, you know, we will have videos for the rest of the night. You can count on that. But, and I'm sure that, uh, that Andrew Alexander would not be happy about that. Uh, he, he said he hated going through all my videos. So, uh, Andrew, such a funny guy, but such a dick at the same time. So, there you go. So, once again, tonight, PCW Platinum Championship Wrestling at the Masquerade, December 23rd, 2010. Something Wicked, episode 12. We will catch you guys later. Big shout outs once again to everybody at Combaton. Go out and check out Combaton. Great extreme football. Legendary Sucker, Hulk U, Tandao Kung Fu, Master Boozer, all you guys. Great, great stuff. So, Danny Only, Andrew Milton III, and myself, Prophets of Doom. We're actually going to take the PCW Tag Team titles and take them home with us. That's coming with us. What you got on our 40? What you got on our 40, homie? 